The Padang tribe, or Longneck tribe, are one of the most famous and recognizable of all the hill tribes in Thailand because of the rings that make their necks look exceptionally long. But it's actually an illusion. It's really the weight of the brass rings pushing down on their shoulders over time. Yeah, this is heavy. Their necks don't actually grow longer. Do you ever have like neck pain or anything? Oh, you get bruises. Yeah. The rings are a symbol of beauty in this culture. And just like the Padang's long necks are an illusion, so too is the village where you can see them. This is Bontong Wong Village, where tourists can see, along with the Padang, many different hill tribe communities at once. It's one of many in northern Thailand, and to a tourist, it looks very real. But this village, and others like it, is a staged, paid tourist attraction, based in reality, but not actually real, like a living museum. Almost all hill tribe communities in northern Thailand are refugees who fled conflict zones. The Long Neck tribe are originally from Myanmar. But as popular as this hill tribe camp is, some tourists come away feeling that this is closer to exploitation than harmless viewing. <laughs> but being refugees, the hill tribe communities may not have many options outside of running villages like this for tourists. An article in the Bangkok Post in 2013 said, Nearly a million hill peoples and forest dwellers are still treated as outsiders. Being stateless means they do not exist as legal persons. Thus, they lack the basic rights and access to public services. Like here, better than in Burma, almost uh, they said it's just they're more happy here. Everything like a food, and the children, food enough for them, the children get uh, education. It is, though, an undeniable chance for tourists to learn about another culture that they may never see otherwise, <laughs> staged or not. Or not.